What up guys, so Disco here. Today we're gonna to be talking about the exotic vendor, the new exotic vendor that just came out in uh, TU 20.1. The exotic vendor is gonna be located in Foggy Bottom and is in the same spot where the old project is where you get that uh, French Foreign Legion looking uniform, right? underground where that lady is at jane appleby or something like that i can't remember her name and i'm just narrating this clip so here we go now once you find the snitch you want to proceed this way just mark it on your map and, and follow the track until you get up to the part where it gets a little bit confusing but it's not too bad and i'm going to leave a link in the description below over to uh, the dj tickles video which uh, explains really quickly and easily how to find the snitch and keep in mind the snitch is now going to reveal the locations of both cassie mendoza and this new exotic vendor. So make your way this way. And as you can see, I'm on that right track where uh, I think it's like Navy Hill is close to here, something like that, it's like the back way. But I'm just gonna go through here. And as you can see, I have the vendor on my GPS thing, but it's underground. You don't really notice it, so you get right up on it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna stop at this white car, basically. You're gonna have uh, this little area back here. Actually, I'm just gonna turn around here. Yeah. I was like, oh yeah, it took me a second to realize where I need to go. After I kill these guys, we're going to go down to that spot that some of you guys may know from a long time ago, back when the scuba outfit and all that kind of stuff was going on. There's a lady down here. So let me know if this project still works or whatever, but you're going to go through a green door here. This green door is going to lead you down a ladder. So now once you take the ladder down, you're in business. Head down here. Don't get your hands dirty. Kind of an impossible task. And the vendor is right when you walk in the door. He's going to be standing there. But this is the lady I'm talking about here. This uh, Jane, uh, whatever, you know, Jane, Jane Applegate. There we go. So Jane Applegate also has a project. I don't know if she still does it because I probably can't access it. I, I didn't even check, to be honest. So here's what we got. The exotic vendor has one per week exotic. These are purchased with textiles. Then he has field proficiency caches, five of them. And then four uh, crafting material caches and then two named item caches. So I'm gonna get rid of an exotic cache, just open one up, but I tend to stockpile these and save them for a rainy day on characters because I don't really need any of the field proficiency stuff that comes out of there. Anything I need in game, I just find it while farming. So I'll pick up one of these, right? So now the big thing is how do you get the textiles? Well, the textiles are straight, pretty straightforward and um, you get them from your apparel cache keys. So we have an apparel event going on right now, but we're more concerned with the old apparel cash keys. So if we go down here to caches, these standard apparel cash keys, right? When you open these, and most people are gonna have a ton of these things, right? When you open these crates, if you get a duplicate item, the game replaces that or compensates you by giving you textiles. The number of textiles is gonna range depending on I guess the value of the item. So right there, I got like 75 for a pair of shoes. Here, I'm gonna get, uh, what do we get here? The superior item or a uh, whatever, but uh, 100 textiles there, right? So you can basically just spend a bunch of time doing this. And if you, it's kind of a win-win to be honest, because even if you're at a lower shade level, there's still gonna be a lot of duplicates. So you can just spend some time, you know, racking up your, uh, your textiles doing that. So that's the exotic vendor, guys. He's open once a week. And again, I'll leave a link to DJ Tickle's video about where to find the snitch super easy. Because sometimes he's in the same four spots, but there is one spot you can always catch him at. And uh, he's open for a week. So remember, come up the hill. You're gonna be going through the green door. Once we're out here, it's the green door. And um, he's in Foggy Bottom. So it is what it is. Pretty straightforward. And I think it's a good addition to the game. Um, and by the way, that chick, uh, Jane Applegate or whatever, she's the one who gave this outfit. I, I believe she was where I got this outfit from, that uh, the French Foreign Legion looking thing. Uh, it's super ancient now. It's just like a throwback to old times in the game. Yeah, it used to be fun. Let me know what you guys think. Do you think that it's fine as is, or do you think they should have gave us more exotic caches? I personally think we should have a limit of three of each of those things. And if you got them, you got them, right? Because you're only gonna get this once a week. And if they're giving people all these, uh, all these buffs in the game, it's kind of fire sale time. You might as well just let everything go super cheap and let players enjoy the game faster as opposed to stretching it out for so long because it does seem kind of like play longer, wait for Division 3, that kind of thing. That's the vibe I get. But you let me know what you guys think in the con. But you let me.
but you let me know what you guys think in the comments below. So like, subscribe, guys. Catch you on the next one. You have a great day. Soak out of here. Bye-bye.